is technically what? So it's kind of like in between. Creep. Birds. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Whenever you are tuning in and creeping with, we are here in Linwood, Washington, about an hour outside of Seattle. We're here at an old Chuck E. Cheese. I got my buddy Andy with me again. And we are doing a little creeping, but I wanted to come through here and document an old Chuck E. Cheese location that is no longer in business, but you can kind of see like all the red awnings, that classic like Chuck E. Cheese look. Did the window say Chuck E. Cheese still? There's also some stuff inside. Really? Okay, I'm gonna peek the camera in. Yeah, nobody can touch it. Yeah, go on, go on, okay. Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. Or no, that was Toys R Us. What was Chuck E. Cheese's symbol? I forgot. It, it was the mouse, but what was their saying? It wasn't where a kid can be a kid, was it? That was Toys R Us. Something like that. I can't remember what their exact slogan was, but we're gonna check out an abandoned Chuck E. Cheese. Looks like they did remove the signage up top here, but Andy was telling me that this was, yeah, permanently closed. Wow. Kind of see the old innards here. I'm not sure if that's where the animatronics were or not, but you can definitely tell it was the Chuck E. Cheese there with the the old red. You can see where they had the old signage. Pete the camera in over here as well. This is what cracks me up though. It's definitely that like yellow and red Chuck E. Cheese, you know, coloring. Couple booths in there still. What side were the animatronics on over here? Andy says he remembers when this place was functioning. So yeah, kind of stinks, but most of the Chuck E. Cheese's are no longer. Yeah, you can't even see back in here. The windows are all blacked out. Yeah, man, the old Chuck E. Cheese's. A lot of good memories, mostly at the Portland Southeast location, but yeah, I guess like the nearest one is 15 miles in Burlington. 44 miles, actually. Look, you can see like the classic old signs. They used to have like the circular signs and everything. But yeah, permanently closed. And I heard this building was gonna get torn down for an apartment complex. Oh, that's too bad. A lot Maybe of people they, miss Chuck E. Cheese. Andy was telling me at one point they actually had the old school logo up here too, so. Yeah, rest in peace to most of the Chuck E. Cheeses. Seen better days. Just left Chuck E. Cheese and now we found this old abandoned staples which you don't really see anymore and it's even got the old if you look really close there the old staples go sign up there and on the old red awning yeah you don't really see these anymore and this is also Linwood Washington so yeah Chuck E. Cheese and Staples Whole scene better days, they've even got the lights are on, but no one's home. Yeah, you don't really see staples at all anymore. And this thing has been stapled up too, it's all barricaded. Andy even busted out his ladder so he could get up and see if he could see inside. I was like, bro, that's dedication, breaking out ladders and stuff. Right next to the old Staples is the Bed Bath & Beyond, which is done now too. Got the sign up. They've taken the main sign down, which you can still see the ghost signage too. Man, that was a big one. Holy smokes. Let's go, check, let's go check it out. 
I've got one sticker left up in the window. And of course the old signage there. Yeah, it's like the double doors too, so we probably won't be able to see too far into the building. But here's the old entrance, kind of walkway or whatever you want to call it. I think if we go over here though, might be able to get a better shot of the actual inside of the store, which looks pretty dang big. It looks like it's pretty much gutted. Yeah, it's pretty much just totally empty. Bed, bath, and be gone. Andy wanted to take me up to Tequila as well. We're just kind of making our way back. But we wanted to stop in at the Westfield Mall and get a little bite to eat. And also I wanted to document one of the last running Sears in operations, fully running. Kind of random, rare to see. And it's raining again, but that's okay. So we're going inside the Westfield Mall, doing a little creeping. Yeah, I am inside the Sears now. We're in the Sears. Yeah, this is like one of the last Sears in operation, so Andy's kind of shown it to me. And also I noticed like most of the cases are empty too. Most of the jewelry is like 80% off. So yeah, who knows how long this one's going to be in business. But yeah, kind of different to be back in the Sears. Been quite some time. Alright, going up to the second floor now. It's all like the bedding and stuff. Wow, it's a big building, dude. Yep. This is all, there was three floors, but this is closed now. Oh, it used to go way up. Wow. So all this is empty back here. Yeah, I remember this Wow. Yeah, it's not. Hey, thanks for showing me this, dude. This is awesome. Oh, the optical center? That's out, too. Wow. way busy. It's definitely not a dead mall by any means. What's this place? Donuts? It's like a volcano donuts. Oh, mochi donut. And he's going to get himself a Wetzel's pretzel. Looks pretty darn good. They got the jalapeno one. You get the pizza one. And they got them freshly making them right now. Kind of rolling them out. Nice. Yeah, I've never seen these guys. Looks good, man. We got the big food court mall here. And I wanted to show you guys this theater real quick. Got the AMC movie theater up here, too. With all the cool food school. Bogart, Eastwood, Wizard of Oz, Maryland, Indiana Jones. Looks like they're playing uh, the new Beetlejuice now too. Yeah, that's cool. Big old theater. So I'm guessing that's Mount, is that Mount Rainier? Supposed to be Mount Rainier? I think so. Anyways, the other side is Sears here. Alright, we got 
Seattle from this side now, coming back the opposite way. Space Needle off in the distance. Yeah, it's a beautiful city, man. That was fun creeping through here. going to do it for today if you guys are new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button that'll dial you into being a creeper today you can also ring that bell that way when i creep you guys will be the first to creep and if you did enjoy this give it a thumbs up till next time creeper out for now peace